gentlemen. Let's get ready to rumble! Let's get it. Arch. Um, it's going to show 1550 Arch a little bit around it, um, City Hall, um, and you know how big the building is. As you can see, it has the name of the city um, on it, so you will figure it's a city public building, um, which I do believe it is, but we'll check that later. But you know, I just wanted to let you know the oh, building is 1515 Arch, yeah. Philadelphia, PA 19102. And in the background of the main video is blurred um, a little, but I'm pretty much just getting my documents and getting ready to go into the building to um, serve the subpoena and um, try to inspect the um, documents and um, get the production of the records, which were um, the memo stating that I was banned with possibly the reason and the photo as well. Um, intended to get it from all three parties. The race of freedom ain't won. Oh, 
Yeah, yo. I got some penis today. Hey. Yeah, I told you. And I brought some extra stuff for you to read. So this is this is the main one. And I got some reading literature for you. So you want to give this to the captain? Um, the captain and the person. Um, cause I gotta go to the 14th floor, and I gotta go to the 11th. I told you. I thought. This is what I filed immediately after I left here. Like you could read that and give it back to me later if you you know if you want. And this is what happened to me. This is my criminal history. All the same thing they did. The only difference is they gave it to y'all, but the police actually put it up in a building and they caused me to be falsely arrested. So you know I ain't I ain't going for that. That's why as soon as you I couldn't believe you said I'm like what in the hell? I couldn't believe that. And the thing about it is, they supposed to be helping me. I need this guy. said the hell with that and that's the motion I drafted I drafted a expedited expedited motion and I wrote a cease and desist like uh, just come on dog. I'm telling you you can't like and the funny thing is how they even know to even try to do some BS like that but that's why in the lawsuit it says name city employees and um and unnamed police officers because I don't know who all was a part of it so that covers them even though they're not even technically listed under it covers them now what's up squizzy and look, and this is what the um, look what the this is what the um, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what the subpoena is requesting and inspection. So you just read from there, top that, that, and that, like you know. And if I, you know, I pick tomorrow's date just in case. I don't know how long it's gonna take or how long it's gonna take you guys to figure out whatever, but I'm here for it. Here we go. Okay. This is the gentleman that's been going through that situation that's not allowed in the building. You wanna uh, you can talk to him I got I got a I got a subpoena to inspect the memo, the photograph that was given to you and um go to the eleventh floor and the fourteenth floor. You can wait here, sir. Okay. You know, I, 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 you know, I, I told you though, I couldn't believe that. I had to write a What's season. Up, Jack? Well, it's good to see you. I came back for you, player. Oh, that's good. Dude. Yes. That's what's up. The season. How you making out? You alright? I'm okay. But then I was being, I was struggling with the spirit too. I was, I was wrestling with the spirit about the situation. Every time I talk to you, right? okay. Okay. But what you were saying, Jay? Yeah, the, the cease and desist. I had to do it for all public agencies that the city represents. Right. Because you know, you know, they got the same lawyer. So whatever negative things or whatever they spread wrong, or if they like, pr the problem is it's plausible deniability. Right. If if I don't if I don't let everybody know, they come like, oh, I didn't know it was illegal, so I did it, and now we can, I can get away with it. Remember, I was telling you that. So that's why the cease and desist covers all the public agencies that I submitted records requests to, and the ones all the ones the city represents. Because anybody can pull it, and I'm gonna be the one screwed. That wasn't fun with, with the police pool. That's why I, that's why I filed the lawsuit. But the lawsuit, like I said, I, I put named and unnamed employees of the city. So and what the what, what happened though, Jack? What they did was the police, I was coming to their building to get records, video and paper records. And what they did was one time I came near legally open carrying. So I came near, um, the lady let me in the building, it wasn't an issue. Then next thing I know, I filed, um, a request and I slid it underneath their door. It was like, it was still business hours, but they was closed. But the person let me up, put it underneath the door. The guy called me saying, you can't come to the police building, blah, blah, blah. Next thing I know, they got pictures up saying that I'm not allowed in the building, which is a lie. Right. And then the lady falsely identified me based on a picture. She, she said it was me because my picture was up. And I got arrested, 36 days in jail, had to get bailed out, bailed out, $50,000 on, on bail. 
um, just because they did it. They didn't have a right to put my picture up. The same way that whatever they told you guys, they had no legal right to do it. So, like, I don't know why they would, they literally repeating the same thing. I don't know why they would do that. So, you know, I told you, that's why I was surprised when I came and you saying they said something. I, like, I literally couldn't believe it. Right. As soon as it happened, I filed a motion and um, I had to draft it in my notepad on my freaking iPhone. Like, I drafted it and sent, submitted it in, and then I did a cease and desist um, that same night because I, I had to work, you know, even though it was slow, but I had to work. So, so I sent it out to everybody because, you know, I can't have that happening. Somebody makes something up, puts something up, now, now I'm a suspect because you you playing games. That's not going down. That It already happened once. It's not happening again, you know, so that's the end of that. They make me want to get y'all video footage from me talking to y'all the other day, even though y'all don't got audio on it, though, do y'all? Don't get me laughing. I don't oh, you don't know. All I yeah. know is how to scam people real food. Okay. <laughs> hey, ladies, welcome back. Huh? Let's not be that. Okay. Yeah. You see, all I know is how to scam ladies. people bring them back. Yeah, I don't want to. Nah, you too. I'm like, look, man, just go ahead and your business with yeah, the I would have did it that day, but it was too late because they closed at 4. Yeah, yeah they, they closed yeah. at 4. So they, 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 uh, like I said, they, you know your stuff, they know their stuff, but like I said, yeah, yeah, they be doing what they want, yeah, that's what they be. Yeah, yeah but I'm not going to dispute that, but what yeah. I'm going to say this, that they always was told that you can beat them quick with a pen and a mouthpiece. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you know told I mean? me. That pen is powerful, player. Yeah. Like right now, you know, if yeah. you want that stuff, there ain't no cops run down on you. or yeah. they cap you can do it except your, except your, 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 and that's the thing too, cause I I, I try I. Pick up the cap and wait. Okay. I asked I asked the um their their attorney to give it to me, cause they could have gave it to me too. But that's why I just drafted up the subpoena to get it from um get it from all three, get it from the lawyer, the city lawyer, get it from you guys, and get it from um the um the COP upstairs. So. I just hate like the fact they make me do this because like this costs eight dollars to print off. This could be my lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor, step right there. How can I help you today, my man? Yo. You gotta go up and do what? And get my name. Your name. Your name. My name is James Glover. You safe out there, Tony? Yeah. Oh, lefty. Yeah. No, ain't nothing wrong with it. Glover is a G. G L. Yeah, yeah O V E R. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So where you gotta go to? I gotta go to 11, and I gotta go to 17, and I might have to go to 14 as well. Okay. Yeah. I'm still gonna need the memo you guys have, and I'm gonna need um the photo as well and um you said i think you said it came through an email because the subpoena um i'm requesting to inspect the record from you guys i'm expecting to request and expect it from cop um as well and i gotta um go to the city attorney's office to get it from them as well all right i mean if you need this copy i can give it to you okay the guy printed it out too the, the, the guy with the ponytail he printed it out i you know, but, you know. Who was from printed out for me? He ain't printed out for me. He just printed out and looked at it. Um, it was oh, a couple pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. 
You see how you is right now? That's where you stay. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Humble, man. You know, you know especially people you know, get spooked quick. You know, they had other boys, Puerto Rican boy, he from the streets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Street. Yeah. Yeah. When you come and you get like that, they don't, you know, they, when people don't see, especially in these uniforms, he's still street. Yeah. You know, he's, he get an arm, he don't know what to do. He's like, I wasn't even doing nothing, though. You know what I'm saying? It took me years, man. Mm -hmm. I got to jump. Mm -hmm. Punch off the guy, I my job, man. I still get a, a rambunctious every now and then, but it brings me back. Your, 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 your voice, the easiest thing to control is out of control, nigga. The nigga's ignorant. When you get loud and you raise your voice above the bar, it's an it excites a riot. You know, you might be 100% right, mm -hmm. but if you're raising your voice at an octave where a person get offended or scared, the first thing they're going to go and protect you, you know what I mean? They're going to yeah. they go feel I, I, I try, You know me, man. I, I do activist work. I try to stay calm. I just was so surprised. You, you, be, man, I didn't even let you my... You got to be prepared I, for stuff I, like that. You say you were surprised. I was well, shocked. Was, you still got to be, regardless of how you did, especially when you're dealing with these people in this in these state building, these city hall and all of that, you got to remain humble because they're not used to somebody come screaming and how it's demanded anything. I called you Malcolm X the other day without the X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Malcolm X without the X. You about to go, you won't go, you know what I mean? But you got to know you. It's hard, especially when you're dealing with something that you know is right and yeah. you're fighting for something that you believe. Yeah. But raising your voice gets you nowhere. What's up, dude? It's me. I got my my helmet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know no problem. He be letting me go through on the city over there. Yeah, man, that's my boy. Yeah, I mean, but you know. But you know, it's a difference. I know it is a difference. It is a difference. You, you, you didn't make a big scene, but just the bare fact that hey, lady, hey. what you want to do? Just go through the scene today. You just want to go through. I mean, you just want to go through. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, Mr. Real Deal, Bill, be safe. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. God willing. Yeah, I was stunned. Though. I could, I couldn't believe. But, but I was my, I called my best friend from college, and he, he the one who helped me out when I got in the situation. I just couldn't see what, I, what I messed up was. I figured it happened. It, it, the situation happened. I sued. Whoever knew about it, they, they would know not to do it again. Right. Even though the suit is still pending, and it, it will get addressed and get corrected. But I didn't know somebody else would That's try to do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I've been, I've been had this. I've been, I, I do active. I really do. I really do I, activist I, I, work. That's why. Yeah, like, like people. Yeah, yeah, people. Right, so like I said, but what, what, what I'm trying to get you to understand is that regardless of what you know. Mm -hmm. You see, the easiest thing to control is the out of control person, period. Mm -hmm. If you're a little, if you're going, if you're trying to get your point, I've done it so much, I can honestly tell you, it gets you nowhere. Mm -hmm. And it gets you thrown in a straight jacket, it gets you you know, <laughs> and I done had it happen, I'm telling you, yeah. man. And I know what I'm saying is I'm 100% right, but doesn't mean they're going to receive it, even if they is my roadblock. Now you're right. To, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm on my way to, to, the, to, the, to the promised land, and here's the promised land right there. Mm -hmm. And there's this one obstacle that I get it past. Humility, man, won't always get you what you want. As yeah. far as getting rowdy, loud, that's never gonna get you nowhere, man. Yeah, I, I, I always try to, you know. I mean, you, you gotta prepare yourself for the unacceptable yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or unexpected. The, yeah, unexpected facts. You know what I'm saying? And, and when, you but don't yeah, know what's to come yeah, next. That's why I wrote those yeah. cease and desist because I said this crap, I can't have this happen again. And I didn't, I didn't realize that I needed to do that until until I came here and saw what <laughs> what, you, they, what they try to pull. You I know what they try. What it is is that again, I told you, you made. Somebody feel uncomfortable. And I didn't. Fit. I'm telling you, know, you, know, you, know, you, might, you might not realize. I don't know if it, it probably what, what happened was the guy who called him down probably told him the wrong thing. That like, you calls up there daily. Like, like, you, like. You record, they know well, I do are, call. You know. I do call All because right. I'm, I'm supposed to because I'm, I'm calling about an issue. But it, you know, it's not like it's nothing malicious. I have the calls are recorded. I right. will let them know under the state law. You know, this is James Glover. I'm calling a recorded line. Boom, we have a conversation. They might say something good. They may not see something bad. They might say something I don't agree with. But we talk. Now, now they don't, even, they don't want the calls to be recorded no more. They're saying they, they don't consent. So now I can't record them. I got to just end the call as soon as they say that. But that was, uh, you know, that's their right. right. So I can't complain. Right. Right. You know, I can't complain. That's their right. But Welcome back, lady. You know, All right. we got a right as a citizens to expect a certain amount of um, decency or agency to run a certain way. And all I was doing was inquiring. You know, that's all I'm doing, just inquiring. Not going into the way you, we expect them to. There's no the way of the avenue. I, I can't, I'm not gonna make them. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna make them do it. But see, what my thing was, I was just asking them nicely to do a couple things. Right. Now I just requested records that's gonna expose 
what's going, what's going to expose them. I'm not trying to expose them, but now they're going to be exposed for what they are doing and what they aren't doing because they got to give me the records. And the city can't make excuses for not giving me the records because they already use all their excuses. And that's why they're part of this lawsuit that, you know, as well. So they, it ain't going to work. So now I was just asking for small little things just to do it, you know, offer to do it. But now you're going to have to do it, and, and you know, but they don't be wanting to follow the law even when they got to follow it. And that's what's weird, because you want to lock everybody that. else up. You want to lock everybody else up for breaking the law, but you want to break it and be cool. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's how I be. That's exactly how I be. But, but well, I'll tell you when I say it to you, whatever you do, whatever the obstacle that may be in your way, might, right now we can't foresee what five minutes might bring you. Mm -hmm. Remain humble in anything that you deal with. You know what I'm saying? I, like I, right now, you got everything you done. You don't not there done the pen work. Mm -hmm. Still might be an obstacle waiting for you. But that oh yeah, yeah, day. yeah. Remain humble, and if you don't, you got to retreat sometime back to the lab and just figure it out from there. But to go back and forth with a person who really don't have no authority over you, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's nonsense. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. It really is because like that day we were trying to tell you, it's nothing that we can let you do because our order is to make sure you don't walk the steps. Now. Anybody. Yeah, I was just trying to see the memo because, I, I like That's I said, I'm even stunned. Even down, to that, so I even said, down to that, we didn't have uh, access to it, but the one that did wasn't allowed to give it to you either. He let you know it was printed and we're mm. not allowed to let you go. Okay. You come back the next day, you follow up from there. That's mm. what you have right yeah. now. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that whatever's great happening in the next 20, 30 minutes or the mm. next 10 minutes, be humble in every situation. Oh yeah, I, I, that's all I strive for. You know. oh, I'm just, you know, I just take my time. Out. Yeah, I just try to take my, you know, do what I can do. You know, yeah. be respectful, but you know, it's just it's more than if anything, humility is more. But respect, to, respect gets you a long way. So, all right, welcome mm -hmm. back, yo. It definitely gets you a long way, man. Mm -hmm. you know what I, mean? I, I had to learn that the hard way. I'm from mm -hmm. years old, so yeah. need to tell you, man, trust and believe. I, I done been jumped about my right. I done been oh, put man. straight jacket yeah. about my right, and still. Yeah. You know, but at the end of the day, it was because I got out of control. When I know I'm right about something, you're not going to try to pour the water, but who am I? If there's a procedure, that, a protocol that they, you have to follow, you got to mm. respect that protocol. And that's something my my my, uh, my 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 state of being didn't want to accept at that time because of where I was at mentally. Mm. I wanted what I wanted. When I wanted to, hey, welcome back, lady. Yeah. And at that time, God wouldn't allow me to get what I wanted because I wasn't ready for it. Okay. I would demand it like I was obligated when I was. Be safe, everything work out for you, lady? Yeah, uh, it wasn't a wasted trip. All right, say that then. Be safe out there. Enjoy your day. Yeah, but see, uh, the, 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 another thing is. All right, what's up with you? All right. Besides being shot, I told you before before this even happened, you, I told you I got like 20 lawsuits. You was telling me? Yeah, yeah. So, like, well, I won't say lawsuits, but I got like 20 civil litigations going on right now. Right. I don't need any extra. So, all, anything extra is like extra damages. Like, if I have to add anything to my plate, it's just because these people are aware of this, uh, these lawsuits that I have. So you, if you add more to it, you you know, especially if it's like frivolous or, you you know, what you're arguing isn't logical or rational or sound. So now you're just wasting my time, but I got to actually do the whole thing, if, you know. Yeah. Well, well, no, what it is is they, they, what happens is it works against you. It's almost like when Monique talk about her situation. Like when you keep repeating the same thing or it build up, instead of it working for your benefit, it work against you and they try to use it to, to a negative. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to add no more, you know. Yeah, yeah. But if you legally write, you know, you got to go with it. And then that's the thing, too. Like, now I'm, I'm going to be forced to, now I can't do all of them. I'm going to have to pick, I'm going to have to let some go, unfortunately, and then just pick the ones, you know, that's more feasible or easily um, to get the right result. Like, because normally I, I do them all. But, you know, everybody been telling me don't, don't, don't really do that. But I can't be let, I don't really let stuff go. So, I, I you know, I, I, then I do them all. And people know that. So they, they, they well, let's add this to his plate, you know. But yeah, so that's the only I can work on that, you know, as far as adding more. But I try not to. Though. I'll let people know. But to be, to be honest, the district attorney's office is the only one. The district attorney's office is the only one who actually been like legitimate in their responses. Like what I, it ain't really no BS. I can argue it and I can still win against what they argue, but they don't like it. Ain't malicious. You know, it's a legitimate sound argument, and they, you know, they do have some good lawyers, so they, they you know. Be safe out there, ladies. But, have a good one. you know, it's not malicious intent. Like, they don't, and they don't use stupid arguments. You know, they go based on the law, they try to review it. So, but every other agency, I would say, sheriffs, the city, the police, um, 
We'll see what L and I do, but the city represents them, so they're well, gonna probably your, do. You just come here for records, you said. Right? Yeah, well, really, originally I came here to um to, to correct the lady that I was speaking to on the phone. She was saying like if um she was saying um you're wiretapping if you notify you're still wiretapping if you notify a person that you're recording, but but you're not. So what it is 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 implied. So now if they revoke consent, then it is. If they keep recording and they you know um, release it. But if I tell you I'm recording this call and you continue to, you know, talk to me, that's not wiretapping because you're informed. Yeah. And jail phone calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I came, I came here. Yeah. So I came here to inform the one lady that, and I also came here to um, um, to see how it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, not the no. The first time I came here just to see how to, you know, see how the office um, see who's up there and see how they, you know, how they flow, how how's things going, who's in office, this, that, and the third. You know. But yeah, the, the, when I came um, like a couple of days ago, it was just just to let her know that, and also you know to see how things flow. You know, and so then I was going. The first, first time. Yeah, yeah. The first time I was just coming just to see how you, how they work, and if there's anything they can do. Because, um, like I said, I didn't like that the police put five internal affairs complaints into one complaint. I'm not stupid. I do activist work. You put five complaints into one complaints, it could take a year, or more. Wow. Like I'm not, you know. So you know. So I asked, um, I asked them if they could make sure that don't happen, but clearly they didn't want to do it. I'm not gonna say they didn't want to do it. Maybe they couldn't do it, but they, well, they didn't well, advocate as well. Yeah. Hold on, help me understand something, though. Uh, just, uh, you say James. 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 Yep. Help me understand something. Um, the day that you first came, when they were trying to tell you about the firearm coming from upstairs, why didn't you lock them, lock it in the box? No, no, no. I didn't have a firearm. I had a pepper ball gun. Man, that's what I said. I, I, yeah, I don't even have a license to carry right now. I didn't. Oh, that was so a I said, ball yeah, gun? it was a, it's a pepper ball gun. Yeah, I don't have a firearm. Did and you I, have a clip too. If pepper balls shoot, that's, it's not even considered a weapon. Remember, I was talking to you about that. It's not considered a weapon, but it shoots like um like rubber balls. But the pepper balls instead of rubber is like um like plastic, and then it has the pepper inside. So if it hits the thing, it could get the pepper in the air and make them choke up. Yeah. So it, so it's it's just a little impact, and then you know with the pepper to choke them up for self defense. So it's a less lethal weapon. It's not even considered a weapon at all. So I was just asking if they could hold it, but it's not a firearm. And even if it if it was a firearm, I know the checking process. I was licensed to carry. The only reason I'm not. It's because the issue with the police, and that's under you know uh, you know uh, um, a lawsuit that's pending, and they ain't accept that one yet. The judges you know they taking any time to accept that case in, but you know um, I'm gonna have to there, you know file something. But yeah, I know the food. I, I could have checked in my firearm at C, um, CJ um, C. You know I know it's a state law. You can check any firearm in at a um, a courthouse. They have to have a lockbox for it. And a couple years ago when I did it, they didn't even know. They was about to arrest me then. Officer about to draw his gun on me in 2019. I went to drop it off instead of going, you know, to, before I went to pen release. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even, I wouldn't even, when I went in there, I didn't even open, I wasn't open carrier. I was concealed carrier, and I told him I went to check my a weapon in, but he said because I didn't have no business there, I can't check it in. But I know the state law, I'm a, I, I, I know it's not true. You can go anywhere and check it in. As long as you license to carry, you can you can go to New York. That's what, you know, you don't have to go to New York and then travel all the way home without your gun. You can come down here, check it in, go to New York, pick it up, and then go home. They open 24-7. So I know these things, you know. It's, you know, I look her up. See, that's the thing. People don't look up the law. I look it up. So, you know, um, so I knew it. And he, this fool, he about to draw his gun on me. They, they actually, they wrote me a letter saying I was wrong. And I had to actually call them and, and ask them, do you want to retract the letter or you guys know that it was wrong? They said, we don't want to retract the letter because it's been so long. But we know those people were wrong and they don't work here anymore. But they wrote me a whole letter. They wrote me a whole letter in 2019. Mailed it to my house and everything. You know? I put my pretzel away. I had a pretzel.
But it's funny, I told my public defender something. Um, I told her that she could get a person um, case dismissed, but she could also get their bail released immediately. I told her that you can you could challenge the um the, you could suppress the witness statement and the um the witness statement in the photo because the photo was used illegally. So that's how the whole case is built. That's what that's why I'm suing them. You used the photo like you obtained the photo legally, but you used it illegally. You used it to prevent me from doing something that I have a right to do, to intimidate, to retaliate. So now in a criminal case, they not really taught constitutional law. They taught more um, civil, def like like um, criminal defense. But I said, you need to suppress this identification and the statement, and the case is over. But she did the easier thing. She just got the case no prize because the video didn't even look like me. But the whole thing was, I still had to get arrested. I still had to sit in there 36 days. I still had to get bailed out. I still had to go. Like we didn't rush to do this. I had to keep doing pre-trial bringbacks and then eventually it got done. But I wanted her to do that. I had to fire her though. I had to actually file to represent myself, fire her, and then I, I revoked it, you know? And she actually is a good lawyer, but she didn't want to do what I was saying. And I'm just like, you're going to have to do it because all my communications was through email. So now you can't talk me off and then like do the opposite. Safe out there, so, you know, but I'm actually, you know, I sit in the, I sit in CJC and try to give out, you know, I'm um, general legal knowledge and I'm handing out cards because it's a lot of stuff going on that's wrong. Like the DA's office is pretty decent, but they don't mind not having all the discovery. And I got an issue with that. Like if you had like discovery that's gonna let you go free, right, they don't be, they don't mind not having it to be honest, and that's not acceptable. They don't mind not having all the evidence. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's not good. You know, I'm not saying they intentionally do it, but the police won't give it to them. Yeah, so if the police don't give it to them right away, they just okay with it. I'm just like that's not cool. But yeah, she was a good lawyer. Be safe out there. You know, but I'm like, I ain't even supposed to have this. Hey, Hello, how are you today, Miss? How can I help you? Hey, how you remember okay. me? Yes, I do. I can't shake oh. no one's hand. Oh, okay. You have documents to drop off? No, I have um. Okay. I have documents to inspect. Okay. So you do? Uh, you work here? Nope. Oh. I do. Okay. I, I'm the head of security for the okay. whole place. Okay. Okay, now let's go. Or I can do. Hold on. Uh, move on. Okay. You cannot enter the building. That is not up to us. You know where the right to know act is, right? For the yeah. city? Yeah, I know under that. The right to know? Mm -hmm. You can go under the right to know act, get the information, email the people at City Hall, mm -hmm. or see the people at City Hall and let them know that you want to know why you were banned, but they banned you from these buildings. He said these buildings, but two of them. But I have a subpoena to inspect the memo. I understand. <laughs> yeah, so you I have, have a to subpoena? be. A, yeah. Okay. I, that's Who what delivered I'm, it? Have, have someone deliver it. You see, I mean, I could get the, the marshal delivered, but I can deliver it myself because. Okay, is that the subpoena? Yeah. I, the, the subpoena isn't requiring anybody to testify, just to produce documents and to um to inspect the record. So I'm trying to inspect right, your I'm, memo and I'm somebody, trying to You can't inspect my memo. That's a subpoena to that's do it. That's okay. Well I mean well, I Hold definitely on. can inspect um Hold on. the um the CCOP memo. Okay, CPOC. Yeah. Okay. And the um city attorney um All right. as well. I'll be right back. Okay. But hey, hey you you and that's he knows me. He gave me my um my training rounds to practice gun jams and stuff. I used to go to the shoot range. And look at what I'm dealing with. You know me. He knows me. That's crazy. He knows me. But, well, you know, hopefully we can get this cleared up. He knows me. That's crazy. He, he used to um, work at the gun um, um, training, Philly um, gun and archery for the police training. He knows me. That's crazy. Like, this is what I'm saying, though. They got me looking crazy. <laughs> he knows me. And, and I, still, I still got what he gave me. He gave me two dummy. Okay, Mr. Glover. All done. It's hand delivered. They're going to inspect the subpoena and somebody's going to email you. I just gave it to one of the attorneys from upstairs because I'm not allowed to let you up just like they told me. Unfortunately. But the subpoena is to, for me to... I understand. You can expect them. They'll, they can go ahead and gather the documents, do whatever, and contact you. 
Do you know why you're not allowed here? No. Anybody tell you? No. Okay. That's that's why that's that's you know. That's I don't I don't get to know why. I only get to know that you can. And I absolutely positively. I, there's no other James Glover, and I have your photo. Yeah, but, but so what? 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 So. Bottom the subpoena line, is for me to inspect I the records. That, that's fine. Let them check the records and let him. This guy that just went upstairs mm -hmm. with those documents, mm -hmm. he's going to review the subpoena. He's going mm -hmm. to review everything from mm -hmm. the district court. Mm -hmm. He's going to look into it, mm -hmm. and then they are going let to. Me, let me show you this, though. I don't want to see all that. Okay, okay. You know why? I don't have time to see all that. Okay. About, yeah, you I mean, have to can, 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 Unfortunately. Yeah, Mr. See, Glover. but I, I'm gonna I'm do what you're saying, but this is the problem because now I'm supposed to be inspecting the records now, but I'm not. Okay. So that's another problem. That's not is a problem it, for me. It's definitely a problem for me. My thing is this: if you were allowed in this building to inspect them records, they would have had me put you through the equipment. I mean, I can I can go through it. You didn't hear me. Mm -hmm. They would have had me push you through all the equipment. Mm -hmm. Let you go upstairs. Mm -hmm. But because of the document that they sent, they said there is a no contact with you rule that the city already provided me. Were you in the municipal services building within the past week? MSB? Um, yes or no? What's that? The um, city hall? No, MSB. MSB. What's, I don't even know what that is. So the building looks just like this one, diagonal across the road. Were you in that building this week? Yes or no? No. Okay, you weren't there. Yeah. Okay. So, so what? So, <laughs> like, 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 this, like yeah. earlier this week, I got a memo. Uh, okay, earlier, earlier this earlier week. This, that's correct. Okay, well. You were on the band I, list. Yeah, there, there's, there's. What? You know me though, so this is really ridiculous. I'm <laughs> this not is this is I I, I I know I, you wouldn't. Let me I know explain you. something. Mm -hmm. I knew my son too. My son got in trouble. Oh wow! You know what I told him. Uh. I'm joking. I'm joking. Man, this, oh, this, we're on your own. That's what I told him. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not in no trouble though. That's the thing I don't understand. I don't know what to say. So. <laughs> oh man, so. I'm going to turn for. Okay. Now, what I will tell you is, he took that information. No. I know they have your information because mm. he pulls you up his computer while I was upstairs. Mm. I said, no. I want to make sure you have the right information. Mm. He said, I absolutely positively have it. Mm. I said, thank you ever so much. I'm going to see. Said, okay. I said, under the Right to Know Act. Yeah, but this isn't Right, right to Know. This is a civil lawsuit. And you guys, it. um, and it, like. Now, you made a mistake. I know what your mistake was. Who no. said you guys? Yes. I have nothing to do. Well, not well. Well, it says city employees uh, named not, and unnamed. I'm not a city employee. Okay. Wow. That's the difference between me and the rest of the world. Well, no, no, it's good. But as right. far as the um subpoena, like right now, I'm about, I'm probably gonna go to the um Understood, the marshal's office. The subpoena was delivered. Well, that is good. But I need to do what the subpoena says on it as well, though. Understood. And if they contact me I mean, uh -huh. and say, hey, by the way, I'll say, listen, you need to contact him right away, and he needs to go ahead and get back here at whatever point. But I okay. can tell you, if the documents are wherever they are, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you now they're archived anyway. They're not sitting here. I mean, they well, somebody to printed, those documents up. Somebody printed one out, but they didn't show me. So, you know, it's, I mean. Who printed one out? The guy, the guy, it was a guy with a ponytail. No, the guy here today? What, not today. Um, when I came here the other day, and it, you know, so. When you came here the other day? The 12th. He One printed 12. it out, but he didn't, he didn't show me. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want you to help me here. Mm -hmm. Let's back up. Mm -hmm. I came in the 12th. I asked you if mm -hmm. you were here this week. You said MSB building. You pointed no. somewhere else. Either here or MSB. Well, you didn't say the either or. Over there to look <laughs> you didn't say like either or. or you didn't say either. You said you said yes MSB you know. over there though. You pointed over there. You didn't okay. say either or. You didn't say either bottom, or. Bottom line is body cam too. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I know, but listen, you. But even when I came way, here, it was nothing I, wrong can with. Can I tell you another little story? Uh huh. You see the signs all over? No, I don't see anything. You're in jail for holding that. How? Is it? It's in. It's public No sir. No sir. So, yes, what, so what is it? No, sir. What is it? 
I mean, this is a city sealed building now. See all this equipment? This yeah. was approved mm -hmm. by the Commonwealth and the city. I mean, by the city. No photos. Oh, they gotta have a sign. The sign's right there. Well, the video. Outside on that post. Video. You said no outside. Video or photos. I mean, yeah, well, coming in. If a person ain't see it, it's not you know normally. You have to look up when you come into these. Hey, buildings. I just, hey, I came so right I'm in. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. But yeah, but I was here. All right. And I um. I know you were here. You know how I know? I mean, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because well, I said that I'm gonna information's come. put all over this document, sir. Give yeah, me but, one moment. Yeah, but me coming, but me coming here. I was here to um to, to, to get I records. Say you were here on the 12th. Yeah, and that's why I filed the um I got the subpoena. Are you here to see Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. There's more to come.